Welcome in to this week's edition of PDL Weekly. My name is Nicholas Murray, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Ryan Brooks, the PDL Senior Director. Ryan, we spent a lot of these videos talking about the season coming up. Mm. Well, the season's finally here, right. and we've got our opening games this weekend out west with mm. Ventura County Fusion opening the season as the defending Southwest Division champions. Mm -hmm. Fresno Fuego also in action against the LA Misioneros, mm -hmm. the Fusion playing the OC Blues Strikers FC. Fun way for four teams to get the season underway is a little bit of a curtain raiser down down in California. Yeah, yeah. I mean, finally these t these teams are able to play. I mean, they've been excited, um, you know, during their preseason and you know signing their players. So finally they're able to play this past uh, this weekend. Um, so I'm sure a lot of the teams are jealous where um, you know they would like to be playing right now. Uh, Ventura County, yeah, they they had a they had a great season last year, 12-2-2. Two and two. Altogether, they were uh, they were ranked third uh, for points per game out yep. of all of, out of what, 67 teams last year. So, um, so you know, obviously they, they want to continue on that and, uh, and have a good season coming up. Big game, I think, a really interesting mm -hmm. game for the Fuego and the Misioneros, who finished third and fourth in the division mm -hmm. last year, if I recall correctly. Two teams that seem to be making really strong progress. Also a very interesting game in the Northwest Division, where Kitsap, who finished third mm -hmm. on goal difference, take on a Victoria Highlanders team that seems to have really regenerated itself and really seems to be moving in a positive direction. Yeah, yeah. E each team has has really got some some good signings, and um, and you know um, I know it's early in the season, so we'll see how well they gel together, and, and hopefully they can have the same success they did have uh, last year. Now a couple of those teams. Uh, mm -hmm especially Ventura County, mm -hmm. was also awaiting the news this week of the U.S. Open Cup draw, which right. arrived on Wednesday. And we've got some really interesting games mm -hmm. in the draw there. We've got Austin hosting the NTX Rayados. We've got the Carolina Dynamo hosting Chattanooga mm -hmm. FC. And a couple of very interesting ones where you're going to see a couple of PDL teams in FC Tucson and Orlando City U23s mm -hmm. hosting USL Pro teams in VSI Tampa Bay FC and Phoenix FC. Mm -hmm. For those two teams, is there the <laughs> chance of an upset here? Are, are we smelling an upset? I mean, I mean, I hope so. I mean, what what a one game and out type of type of format is uh, can really can really allow that to happen. I, I mean, it, you have uh, you have teams that are that are in the amateur league, which is the PDL, and then you have a USL Pro team, and uh, and hopefully the underling effect can take place, and hopefully the you know hopefully some of these USL Pro teams will uh, will take you know will think that uh, they're the pro team and they should win, and uh, and hopefully that PDL team surprises them. Michigan Bucks opening at home again, and of mm -hmm. course everyone remembers their run to the fourth round last year. Mm -hmm. It seems as though there might be some teams out there that could maybe replicate that, maybe at least get to the third round and, and possibly give a, a, an MLS team a scare this year with mm -hmm. teams like the Sounders U23s, Portland Timbers mm -hmm. U23s, and an Ocean City team that seems to be returning a lot of players had a very good season last year. Yeah, we're hoping for some upsets, and we're hoping to, I mean, it would be great if if, if, uh, if one or maybe two teams really get into that third round, like last year where Michigan was able to beat the Chicago Fire. Um, we hope for that. Now, we do have some other news around the league. We've got mm -hmm. some signings going on. The Sounders U23s made a couple of very nice mm -hmm. additions, including goalkeeper Earl Edwards from UCLA. Mm -hmm. right. He was with Ventura County mm -hmm. last year, did a very nice job for them. That is going to be a, a team that's very well prepared to defend its Northwest Division title, I think. Yeah, yeah, really. I mean, Earl Earl was down in Ventura, had a good year there. Now is up with the Sounders. Um, was with the U17 national team for their World Cup qualifying, and now uh, you know was 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 training with the U20s. Um, so great signing by them. I mean, the Sounders has done a, done an incredible job. Also, Reading have done an incredible job with with some of their signings. They bring yeah. in Fatai Alashe from mm -hmm. Michigan State, who had a very nice season last fall, and two guys I'm pretty familiar with from South Florida mm -hmm. and Ben Swear and Wesley Sharpie. Ben Sweat is a guy to really keep an eye on because I think he's going to be one of the top prospects next next, uh, next fall, next uh, spring for the MLS Superdraft. Excellent left back, lots of pace, mm -hmm. likes to get forward. So very exciting player heading to Reading United. Yeah, Reading, Reading has done an incredible job of bringing in players. I mean, absolutely incredible. I mean, it really has to be commended. Uh, they also have this guy, uh, Darius Madison, who uh, is from University of Virginia, who's a big-time, big-time player. Um, I, I coached against him for the Development Academy last year. And, um, and he was one of the best players that I've seen. So uh, Reading, uh, kudos to them because they've, uh, they've really done their homework. 
Well, Ryan, thank you so much for joining me. We'll finally have some action. You can find all of the news and results and game recaps on the PDL's website. You can also follow for full-time scores as we get them throughout the weekend at USL PDL on Twitter. You can follow Ryan at PDL underscore Brooks as well for his thoughts on the weekend's action. And join us this time next week as we recap the first weekend and look ahead to the uh, upcoming, uh, look ahead to week two of the PDL season. For, until then, though, my name's Nicholas Murray. Thanks very much for joining us. Mm -hmm.